Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Ashley Taylor. She was one of the first ones to send me this story, honey, and it's coming from Alabama. So what's going down is that basically this guy from Black Lives Matter decided to interrupt Donald Trump's speech. He was down in Birmingham, Alabama, but he decided to basically go into the middle of the crowd and start screaming Black Lives Matter. And so the people in the audience got so pissed off, they started shoving him. He fell and he was kicked a few times. And now they're saying that, you know, this is unacceptable. This is not okay. Donald Trump is basically saying he doesn't give a shit. That's what the man gets. A lot of folks want to know my opinion about this. I want you guys to go ahead and check out the video really quick. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> the video so I want to say this while I don't agree with anybody being physically assaulted no one deserves to get kicked nobody deserves to get punched but I think a lot of people are just tired of this whole Black Lives Matter movement I think people are tired of the attention whoring this damn Ruben Stuttered reject came there to be an attention whore okay this man had no agenda he had no purpose he wanted to be disruptive and he wanted to be an attention whore and sometimes in life when you decide to be an attention whore and you decide to be disruptive sometimes you can get punched in the damn face sometimes you can get kicked does it make it okay no it doesn't but these are some of the consequences i don't understand why people are turning this into a whole race issue now if you guys i remember there was a white boy who caught himself trying to be an attention whore a few years ago and his ass got tasered y'all remember him don't taser me bro that's what happens when you go about trying to interrupt people sometimes you get tasered sometimes you get your ass whooped not saying it's okay, but like I always say, for every action, there's a reaction. And it seems like a lot of folks are just tired of the attention horn that's going on nowadays. And other folks are saying that he has a right to be disruptive. He has a right to, you know, disrespect Donald Trump's speech because Donald Trump is a racist. Now, let me say this. I'm no supporter of Donald Trump. I do feel like Donald Trump does say a lot of little racist things. But at the end of the day, who gets to determine who has the right to be heard? You have a lot of folks who don't like Louis Farrakhan. You have a lot of folks who think that Louis Farrakhan is a racist. Does that make it okay for a white dude to come to a Nation of Islam meeting and stand up in the middle of the meeting and start screaming, you know, white lives matter and F. Lewis Farrakhan and everything else. No, it doesn't. Just because you don't agree with the message or you don't like the messenger does not mean that other people don't agree with the message. Other people spent their time, their effort, and their money to go down there to go listen to Donald Trump's speech and they did not appreciate it being interrupted by some random black man. You know, I just get tired of the hypocrisy. It should not be okay for him to interrupt Donald Trump's speech just because he doesn't agree with Donald Trump. Because like I said, had this been Minister Louis Farrakhan and a white man decide to interrupt his speech, nobody would make an excuses and saying, oh, well, he deserves to be silent. 
silenced. Nobody deserves to be silenced. You know, we used to have a thing called freedom of speech. I don't know where freedom of speech is currently going in this country, but it seems like freedom of speech is only okay if the majority of the people agree with you. The moment they disagree with you, then they feel like they have the right to silence you. And that's what this black man tried to do. And he got his ass whooped. I don't feel bad for him. I don't feel bad for attention whores. Go get your attention elsewhere. But as far as the white folks who were kicking him and beating him, they also deserve to be arrested and prosecuted because you cannot go around beating folks up. But again, this man put himself in that position. So to me, he's no victim, point blank, period. So I don't care if y'all agree or disagree, honey, but it's just my opinion. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you feel like this black dude is a victim and he had the right to interrupt Donald Trump's speech or do you not feel bad for him at all? And you know, that's just a roll of the dice. He decided to be disruptive and he got his ass whooped. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share Share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.